So today we are going to talk about throttle control. You know, it's one of my pet peeves that, uh, well, first of all, my name is Knight Rider. How you guys doing? Thank you for coming to my channel. Throttle control. So the first thing everyone always tells you, all you gotta do, man, is you gotta learn throttle control. It's like, that's the dumbest thing you can tell somebody. You gotta learn throttle control. Just learn throttle control. That doesn't tell you anything about actually how to control, control the throttle of a motorcycle. So today that's what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to tell you what throttle control is and how to, to do it. So obviously if you know anything about motorcycles, this is your throttle. The throttle twists this way to, to accelerate. So you're doing like that, right? The biggest things you gotta worry about is whiskey throttle. Have you ever heard that term whiskey throttle? What whis whiskey throttle is, is when you grab the throttle by accident somehow, and then it jerks you back. Like, oh, snap, because it goes forward. And in actually jerking you, it makes you, you grab onto the throttle even more and twist it more. So it's kind of like, when you're trying to hold on for safety, it's actually making you accelerate faster, which makes you crash. And lose control. That's why you see somebody holding a little, bam. So, how can we control our throttle? Now, these are some tips that I give. This is probably more so suited for sport bikes, but these some of these tips you can use on cruisers also. Some you might be able to use, some not. Take what you can, leave out the rest if you can. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I'm doing it with the bike off because this video doesn't require me to be driving actually to show you how. I might drive a little bit, but mostly not so what you want to do is first of all to avoid whiskey throttle when they say respect the bike when you get on the bike don't be in a hurry don't be in a rush don't be like okay you know take your time and make sure you're doing everything safely so basically a good way to control the throttle they tell you in your class in your training class if you don't know is to have your palm even with the throttle. Meaning, don't have your hand like this. Cause then if something happens, you have your hand will twist that far. That's a hand, that's when they say grab a handful. That is a handful of throttle, which isn't necessary for you to ride the bike. Um, like this, however, when, you're, when your wrist is like that, even with the throttle, you can only twist it so much. You know what I mean? If something happens, you know, you're gonna do like that. You only have so much rotation on your wrist. You know, like look, your wrist will only go so far back. But if it's like that, look how much ro rotation you got. So don't grab a handful of throttle. It's dangerous and it's not even necessary if we just start off. More of a start like that. Right? That way it's easier for you to control. You have less chance of you whiskey throttle. Now, big tip, especially if you start on a fast bike, you start on a 600 liter bike, high boost, whatever. Hopefully, I think most sport bikes have this little flak right here, this little extra bar in. Now, this is stationary, it doesn't move. This is the throttle. So what I did to help me start off is I rested my palm on the stationary part and I twisted the throttle with my fingers. You know, so if something happens, you know, I'm not resting my hand on the throttle. It's with my fingers. Because it had so much power, I could just twist it with my fingers. And the more I got comfortable, I, would, I finally got to where I put my whole hand on it. I want to follow them so badly, but I'm going to finish this <laughs> this video. Um, so that's where I rested my palm. People are going to say, "Oh, that's dumb. That, that's not. It's not dumb. It helped me out a lot tremendously." If you don't, if it's not possible for you, or if your bike doesn't have a bar in, then that's fine. I have some other tri tricks that might help you. Another big, big trick to help you in throttle control. It's not exactly throttle control, but it's kind of like training wheels. Is that if you have some bikes are powerful enough that you can start off in second gear 
Why is that important? Well, if you start off in first gear, first gear has a lot of torque and a lot of power. Torque meaning power is how much how fast you can go on a bike. Torque is how fast it gets you there. And torque is what gives you that big jerk when you hit the throttle. You know, like, oh crap. So to alleviate some of that, if you start off in second gear, which is uh, too high for the speed which you're going, which is nothing, you're starting off, it'll start off a little bit slower. The power delivery is a little bit less, which in turn will limit the jerk. So you can do that. You can start off in second gear until you get more comfortable you know, with starting off in first, if you really, really need that help. I like to sometimes uh, like take a turn or like maybe you turn in second gear where it's not so jerky. That way you don't have to worry about maybe low siding from the, from the torque. If you just take a turn in second gear or you turn in second gear, that helps me out a lot. Another big point and this is going to be a short video. Another big point of controlling the throttle is not resting so much on the handlebars. But even if you do, this bar is stationary. So you can rest a lot on that and alleviate your problems over here. But really, you want to be relaxed. Your hands to be relaxed. Well, how is that? Well, you squeeze. You see these little inserts for your legs. You squeeze and hug the tank with your hips. You know, if you look, watch my video on acceleration, which I'll put down, I'll put my acceleration and shifting video down in the description. I talked about how you want to squeeze the tank with your hips and use that for support and not so much your hand. That will limit the, the likelihood of whiskey throttle if you're not gripping this so tightly for support, more so using your legs. What is it? Balance the bike. Go we'll stand still. Um, so those are the tricks that I use for throttle control. I think that pretty much covers, you know, throttle control. So hopefully that might help you out. So, you know, you won't whisk your throttle and hurt yourself. All right, now, I'm going to start off in second gear. Second gear. <laughs> See a little stutter? Da, 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 da. It's too slow of a gear. But you can start off in it. So alright guys, that's my video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. In control what the heck is that? In controlling the throttle. So you guys have a good one. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe. Got a good channel. And that is my bit for today.